Hi everybody, thank you for watching, I hope you are doing well. In this video I'm gonna show you this makeup look which is super colorful. So this look is for a whole like of makeup and a lot of colors. Of course you can change the colors as you like and make your own combination. You can also match the colors of your makeup with your outfit as I did. In real this look was requested from some of you guys for creating makeup look using a hot pink eyeshadows. So I wanna thank you so much for the request, I had so much fun creating this look. And that's it, I hope you like it as I did and let's begin. I'm gonna start applying my primer to fix everything in the place. I'm using my favorite by Urban Decay and spreading all over my lid with my clean finger. And I'm gonna start using this super cute palette by Too Faced. This is the Sugar Pop palette. This palette is so pigmented and awesome. I love it so much. The color that I'm using is called Blackberry and this will be my transition shade. And as it's super pigmented, I go adding a little at a time and blending this eyeshadow. I also apply it a piece of tape it will help to create a beautiful shape for my eyes and the super cute and purple brush that I'm using are from Makeup Addiction I super love these brushes because they are so beautiful and the quality is amazing I love it especially this one for blend this is from the Glam Me Up set And to make the colors more vibrant, I'm gonna use a white eyeshadow base, which is the Jumbo Pencil by NYX. I'm using the color Milk and I'm applying it in my eyelid with a super small brush. Of course, I used the primer before, but I need something to stick a little more the colors in the place and it will also make them more vibrant. But I don't apply a lot of this product because it will be just a uh, eyeshadow base. So after that I apply it, I just blend a little bit with my clean fingers to remove the excess. Now with the same brush that I used before to blend the crease color, I'm gonna apply this beautiful violet. This color is called Sugar Violet. I'm gonna apply a little at the time. As I said before, this palette is super pigmented and I already did my skin so I don't want any fallouts. If you prefer, you can apply your foundation after or even your concealer after because you can clean so much better this area. If you have any fallouts, you will not look like a panda and that's okay, they are so cute but we don't need this in the makeup. Now I'm gonna use this beautiful palette also by Too Faced. This palette is pretty rebel and it's super beautiful and pigmented. This color is called Totally Fit and I'm applying it all over my lid in the space that I leave without any shadow. I will just leave free my tear duct area. I don't use this palette so much because I prefer uh, neutral colors. But here all the colors and the pigmentations are awesome. I don't even have anything to say because Too Faced has the most perfect products ever. I never regret from anything that I got from Too Faced and I believe this is the first time that it happened because in all the brands that you try you always have something that you don't like or don't like too much or that you prefer from another brand. So as you can see Too Faced for me is a must if you are a makeup artist or if you like to apply makeup in yourself. The products by Too Faced I really recommend. So on top of the hot pink that we applied before, I'm gonna apply the color bubblegum. This will create a beautiful gradient of colors and also add a little bit more shimmer. And 
and back again to the palette Pretty Rebel. I'm gonna apply the color Miss Sparkles, which is a super sparkly black. I love it, this eyeshadow, and I'm gonna apply it in my outer corner without cover completely the violet. This will also help to create more depth and gradient in the makeup. I'm gonna apply this pigment by MAC to highlight my tear duct area. This is my favorite to highlight the color vanilla. I'm applying it with a small pencil brush also from Makeup Addiction. And finally, I'm gonna just line my eyes with the color Wicked by Sigma and this small angled brush, my favorite, that is also by Sigma. And today I have a surprise for you. If you wanna get anything by Sigma, when you do your purchase from the website, use the code MELISSASB for 10% off. And now I'm gonna just remove the piece of tape of my eyes, I'm gonna do it off of the camera and I'm gonna apply the same black eyeshadow that we applied on top in my lower lash line and I'm gonna do the same thing with the violet and with the pink, creating this gradient also in my lower lash line. Then you can go ahead and apply your favorite mascara and fake lashes. My favorite mascara are from Maybelline, the Rockets Volume and also the Telescope by L'Oreal and the fake lashes that I'm using today are from from Velour. I love super long lashes as this one. The style is T Note O. As you can see these lashes are so beautiful and now Velour is also available on the Sephora. They have a lot of beautiful styles of lashes but this one is one of my favorites. And this is the final result for the eyes. If you wanna see how I do my eyebrows, I already did a tutorial. And these contact lenses that I'm using are from Desi Eyes. The color is creamy beige. These contact lenses are so pretty and my eyes are so sensitive, so this one worked really well for me. So moving on to the blush, I'm using a pinky swan by MAC. I love it, this blush with the makeup. But you can use something more neutral or maybe just a bronzer if you think that this look will be so colorful to use pink but I'm just super colorful so I'm doing pink. By the way pink and purple are one of my favorite colors. To highlight my face, I'm using the Soft and Gentle by MAC. I love this highlighter so much. This is already the second that I use just in myself because I love this effect and this color and this work really well in my skin tone. Well, I forgot to film myself applying the lipstick, but I used the color Tender by Motivis that you already see me using a lot of times because I love the shade of nude because for my skin tone and for all this look, I believe that a nude will be the best choice. So find a shade that will be next to your skin color. And that's it. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you still didn't for more pictures of my work. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and help me to spread this video with your friends and i see you in the next time Mwah.